Main article. Imperial Palace, the most famous of the Jedi temples, located on Coruscant, served as the home of the Jedi High Council and the vast library of data known as the Jedi Archives. When the Empire took control of the galaxy, the temple on Coruscant became their new Imperial Palace. Luke Skywalker as the galactic capital, Coruscant was also home to the Jedi Order, Guardians of Peace and Justice in the Galaxy. An order of force sensitives, the Jedi Knights served the Republic for thousands of years as keepers of the peace. Their home was the Jedi Temple. Built on a plain of low-lying urban blocks, the Jedi Temple was easily recognizable on the Coruscant cityscape with its distinctive five spires. Part school and part monastery, the temple was the hub of all Jedi activity throughout the galaxy. In one of the spires sat the Jedi High Council, led by the Grand Master of the Order, which directed the actions of the Jedi and served as advisors to the Senate and Chancellor. The temple held a large lobby and chambers with statues of famous Jedi and also contained numerous facilities including hangar bays for starships and speeders utilized by the Jedi, sleeping and living quarters, rooms for meetings and instruction, a medical facility, prison cells, and communications and security stations. The temple also held the famous Jedi Archives, which stored the largest collection of information on the galaxy as well as a vault containing the valuable holocrons containing the Order's Force knowledge and secrets. During the Clone Wars, the Jedi, serving as generals and commanders of the Grand Army, coordinated their efforts from the temple. However, as the war began to conclude, the Jedi became more separated from the hierarchy of the military command and establishment. When Palpatine was revealed as the Sith Lord the Jedi had been searching for, he ordered the execution of Order 66 and sent his new apprentice Darth Vader to the Jedi Temple. Entering with the 501st Legion, Vader and the clone troopers seized the temple, killing all the Jedi and younglings inside and setting the monastery ablaze. Later, Masters Yoda and Kenobi infiltrated the temple to discover what had occurred. It was there they reconfigured a distress signal transmitting from the temple to any surviving Jedi asking them to return, into a Sith trap, and learned the truth of Skywalker's fall and Palpatine's identity as the Dark Lord of the Sith. After the war, Palpatine turned the temple into the Imperial Palace, using it as his new home. The temple's spires remained intact though the rest of the temple was heavily remodeled and expanded. The hallways were stripped of all statues and Republic-era ornaments. Where they had once been quiet and solemn, they became filled with busy government workers and functionaries. A large landing courtyard allowed for shuttles and starships to land. The entire palace complex was watched over by the red-robed Imperial Royal Guard. The center spire was converted into the Emperor's throne room with a 10-meter-tall podium in the center accessible by the Emperor from his residence via a private turbolift. The structure remained standing on Coruscant throughout the Emperor's reign.